Hello, and welcome to the MRHS TV Channel 77 News. I'm Christian Perez alongside Grace Valverde, and Janine Perez will join us later with Entertainment News. This program will look into some of the stories involving Manchester Regional High School faculty and students. Thank you for watching, and let's begin the broadcast. Congratulations to Damian Valenci, Jairo Avila, Jordan Galetta, and Christian Perez for making the state finals of the New Jersey DECA State Leadership Conference in Cherry Hill last week. DECA is an opportunity for students to experience real-life business situations and compete against other New Jersey high schools. Students went through role plays, multiple choice tests, and quizzes based on the subjects they were assigned. Since our membership has doubled in the past year, Manchester also received the Gold Level Award at the event. This week on Inside Manchester, Kelly Gervais had the opportunity to interview Manchester's newest addition, and coincidentally her uncle, Heldon Police Officer Todd Ward, who was recently assigned as our new resource officer. Welcome to Inside Manchester. My name is Kelly Gervais, and today we will be interviewing Officer Todd Ward, who has recently been assigned our school resource officer. Good morning, Officer Ward. Good morning, Ms. Gervais. How are you? Good. I would like to start off with a few questions. What does a school resource officer do? Our job is to make sure that the school is safe, the faculty is safe, and the students are safe at all times. Also, we are educators. We can teach different parts of the law to the students. And the last, but most important thing is, I believe in having an open door policy where the students can come in and talk to us um, and don't feel any pressure. If they have any kind of problems or situations that they might be afraid to talk to a, a teacher or their parents about, that they can come to us and, and discuss it. We can try to help them in the best way. Okay. How long have you been a police officer for? I've been a police officer for 18 and a half years as a full-time police officer. I was a special for five years prior to that. What made you become a police officer? The love of people and wanting to help people. Okay. Say if a fight breaks out between two students, how would you handle the situation differently from a teacher? To a certain extent and to a certain point, it's the same as a teacher. Um, we want to make sure that both parties or all parties are okay, that they do not need any assistance from, say, possibly medical assistance. Um, once we find out what the situation is uh, and how far it has to go, either the school will handle it and myself, or if it's criminally, then I will handle it myself and charges will be pressed and they'll be processed. Okay. What do you think a school would be like without a resource officer? I'll say, I'll say this. I think when there's a police presence involved or around, that it's a deterrent, and I think that um, as long as we're visible and we're seen, a lot of things are like a lot less to happen. Mm -hmm. And what would you like the students of MRHS to know about you? I just want them to know that I am a police officer, but I'm here for them. I have an open door policy. They can come and see me anytime they want. I am a human being. And, and I, I do have a soft spot, and they're more than welcome to come and see me. And if I can help them in any way, form or fashion, that's what I'm here for. Well, thank you, Officer Ward. And thank you, Ms. Gervais. I'm Kelly Gervais, and stay tuned for more interviews with Inside Manchester. Hi, I'm Janine Press for MRHS TV Entertainment News. Manchester showed off its creative side by hosting a coffee house on February 29th. There are 11 great musical acts and free baked goods, and of course, coffee was served. The audience laughed and sang along while waving their cell phones back and forth, taking the place of the traditional lighter dance. Here are some highlights.
RHS National Honor Society organized a successful event. There are over 100 guests, and the event raised over $500 to benefit the Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital of New York. There is a new hair trend that's hit Manchester recently, stylized mohawks. The trend is said to be started by two of our varsity boys basketball players, Mike Davis and Hanif Smooth Green, who got their mohawks to stand out during the Passaic County Tournament. Although only a few additional basketball players sported the trend, the wrestlers took the idea to another level. Almost all of the wrestlers support, supported their team by getting a similar mohawk. The wrestlers said that their reason was to support the other wrestlers and stand out during the district tournament. Now more than just the athletes are getting their hair cut like that, and the designs along with it are just as unique as the students who have them. Are you a video game lover seeking opportunity to prove that you are the best in either Halo 3 or Call of Duty 4? If so, you're welcome to attend Manchester's second video game tournament, which will be held on March 7th from 7 until 10 o'clock p.m. For an entry fee of $5, students can take on their fellow gamers in two of the biggest multiplayer games in recent memory. Participants may form their own teams prior to showing up to partake in the action. Food and beverages will be available to refresh the players as they compete for prizes. This is anticipated to be one fun-filled evening. Registration forms are available in the library, the main office, and our website, www.mrhs.net. On February 27th, our varsity boys basketball team suited up for their biggest game of the year, playing Englewood in the North 1 Group 2 state quarterfinals. Going into the game, the Falcons were the fifth overall seed, with a record of 16-9. and A hard-fought effort fell short as the Falcons were beaten by Englewood 80-59. Seniors Joe Citrullo and Matt Smith led the team in scoring with 19 points each. The Falcons have a lot to show for their efforts, however. Despite losing their state game, the Falcons were crowned co-champions of the BPSL this year, something that hasn't happened to the team in over five years. Even though the team will miss a few key seniors graduating this year, the Falcons are heavy favorites to defend their title next season. Good job, Manchester. This past week, four of Manchester's varsity wrestlers made the District 5 state tournament. Francisco Munoz, Rahid Mutari, Albrus Kazan, and Ramazan Nanyev all participated in the first round. Munoz, Kazan, and Nanyev achieved victories in their matches and advanced to the second round. Francisco and Ramazan had an opportunity to each capture third place, but despite their tough efforts, they fell short of their goals. Congratulations to all four of our wrestlers and their outstanding achievements this season. Closing out the broadcast are a few reminders from earlier editions of the MRHS TV Channel 77 News. First, a reminder that the Harlem Wizards will be coming to Manchester's gymnasium on Monday, March 17th. Advanced tickets are $10 and will include a free autographing session, as well as seats for the big game. Rumor has it that our own principal, Mr. Ney, will be suiting up along with the MRHS faculty and staff to play in the exhibition versus the Wizards. Prior to the Wizards, on March 14th and 15th, Manchester will be featuring our annual musical production, Sleepy Hollow, starring MRHS TV's own Christian Perez, Kelly Gervais, and Jordan Galetta. And coming off of last year's successful production of Little Shop of Horrors, this has all the makings of another Manchester hit. Shows start at 7.30 and tickets will cost $7. Finally, the class of 2009 is sponsoring a car show and Battle of the Bands on Sunday, May 4th. Anyone interested in participating can find more information as well as registration forms on our school website, www.mrhs.net. That's all for this edition of the MRHS TV Channel 77 News. I'm Grace Valverde, and for Christian Perez and the rest of the MRHS TV staff, thank you for watching and have a safe week.